Psalms 145, 10-18 All your works praise you, Lord. Your faithful people extol you. They tell the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might, so that all people may know of your mighty acts and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and your dominion endures through all generations. The Lord is trustworthy in all he promises and faithful in all he does. The Lord upholds all he all who fall and lifts up who all who are bowed down. The eyes of all look to you, and you give them their food at the proper time. You open your hand and satisfy the desires of every living thing. The Lord is righteous in all his ways and faithful in all he does. The Lord is near to all who call on him, to all who call on him in truth. Amen. Thank you.
those who are able may kneel as we sing verse 1, I love thy kingdom, Lord. as Christ has directed. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. and Luke 17, 20 to 21. Consider how the wild flowers grow. They do not labor or spin. Yet I tell you, not even Solomon in all his splendor was dressed like one of these. If that is how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today and tomorrow is thrown into the fire, how much more will he clothe you, you of little faith? And do not set your heart on what you will eat or drink. Do not worry about it. For the pagan run world or the, for the pagan world runs after all such things, and your father knows that you need them. But seek his kingdom, and these things will be given to you as well. Do not be afraid, little flock, for your father has been pleased to give you the kingdom. Once on being asked by the Pharisees when the kingdom of God would come, Jesus replied, The kingdom, the coming of the kingdom of God is not something that we can be observed, nor will people say, Here it is, or there it is, because the kingdom of God is in our midst.
Our scripture reading is from Revelation 11, 15 to 17. The seventh trumpet. The seventh angel sounded his trumpet, and there were loud voices in heaven which said, The kingdom of the world has become the kingdom of our Lord and his Messiah, and he will reign forever and ever. And the 24 elders who were seated on their thrones before God fell on their faces and worshiped God, saying, We give thanks to you, Lord God Almighty, the one who is and who was, because you have taken your great power and have begun to reign. Amen.
Amen. Awesome. Thank you. who came to this world to reintroduce his kingdom to us. Your son taught us of love, kindness, of inclusion, of caring, of sharing, of being part of your kingdom. We thank you, Lord, that kingdom, your kingdom is here today. And we ask that through the power of the Holy Spirit, his kingdom become part of our hearts 
become part of our lives, that we may be active stewards, servants, and soldiers for you. In Christ's name, amen. Amen.